All right, so we got the the HDR fifty T four, I mean TR fifty versus the flat screen LG flat screen TV. It's flat. It's flat in the front. It got a little ass on it, you know. So we're going to give you guys a damage assessment. See how this goes. But again, this uh, torpedo revolver fifty cal or the um, HDR fifty cal. Um, right here, if you, if you are a felon or can't have a firearm, um, if you're, if you, uh, smoke or have a, a marijuana license or a marijuana, um, card, user's card, uh, and you still need a form of home defense, uh, nowadays air, air guns are the way to go. And we're going to show that, uh, here, but for something compact, uh, mobile, uh, it's pretty big to be compact, but for something that's, um, easier for mobility and, uh, I, I would say navigation in a home de defense scenario, you got something light or even in a self-defense scenario, if you're out and about. Um, so we're, we're about to get to clicking. Just wanted to give you guys a solid intro on, on what you have to look forward to. So we're going to do some, some damage assessment, um, slapping on this TV. And also we're going to get these big hard um barefoot moscato bottles we have here so we, we did a little bit of a glass test for you for you guys before but now it's about the it's a little bit thicker so um that said let's go on and get on in so we're gonna do a first person shot for you guys and right after the shot we'll Are do we an evaluation uh yeah the uh tv oh yeah 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 Oh, we, we we can do it in whatever order you want. You want to type the uh? All right, let me first person shot for y'all. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna aim for the left side of this TV to give bro full um you know uh, dictation over that uh that right side so he can do what he want with that. All righty. So the first shot we have it tapped. Definitely uh, penetrated the glass, but as we've seen in real time, it bounced right back off. So I expect little to no backside damage because there was no real penetration. So no backside damage on that, but pretty decent, pretty decent little hole there. So bro hit almost center. And look at that, sitting in there. No damage sitting in there. Yeah, nice shot. Righty, moved a little bit back further just to see a different effect. Here we are. Thank you. And the same effect I got on this side here. Um, we'll look at the damage again. It's probably about the same. Actually, about the same. A little less uh, tear damage we see sure in here. Through. This went in, no, I think here. He, he get oh yeah, up. yeah. So about same damage, and it. the distance. Say, almost eleven feet back, almost eleven or twelve, uh, solid feet back. Bros at easily a twenty. Uh, yeah, about twenty feet away. Um, we're going to get a shot, action shot of him firing. Good. And we're going to go assess damage here. Bro clapped wow. right below where he hit before. It's funny because we have good groupings. Mine That's is similar. Yeah. His is similar here. But if we look at his grouping here, same damage. And we're using steel ball bearings where we're not using penetration rounds. Not bad. Now, y'all know I'm a fool. So y'all know I got to do this just for y'all at least one time. At least one time. Point blank the bitch. You know? And that thing is right here. So there we got a little bit of crack damage because it was point blank. We heard the ball bearing fall. It's right here. No actual penetration damage. It's looking like already we may need... um. Uh, the Z RAM. I was saying we might need the Z RAM to penetrate. So just brought something to my attention. I didn't look. Yes, in all of the 
you brought something to my attention. Maybe. The camera is right. Sorry, guys. Nice metal back and there. all of the metal behind the glass is dented. So though the metal did stop, it's probably like a form of aluminum, though it did stop the, the ball bearing from coming through, the ball bearing still passed through with enough force to dent the uh, steel behind the actual glass plate. Alrighty, I'm at about actually five feet now. So I want to see what this does for you guys. See if we get any bit of a difference here in this ballistics test. And fire. That hit a little hard. I didn't see where it went, but we're going to look at the damage real quick. Inspect that damage. Damn, I hit here. Yeah. I see it still. Oh, just like you were saying. I want to see if I can get this. So here is where I hit. Guys. All right, there's the light. Now, if you can see on the inside somewhat, it's even more dented than before, obviously, because of the range I hit it at. I hit it as close as we've been at so far. But on the right side, you see it's a dark, it's a little bit of a concave there, a um, little caved in there. And if I peel this back some, you can see it even better. I'm not going to hold you, it's doing a little bit better than I thought it would. Yeah, I thought same. It's going to be sticking inside of it. Yeah. I definitely thought it was going to be sticking inside of it, like just being able to go down and pull it out. He probably brought right. it back. Only one got stuck in there, and that one's still dented back there, too. Right. And and it's not changing shape at this point. It's just like plain, plain, plain blank. I'm getting as close as I can get with you. Three, two, one. Close the mask. Good. So he's, this is the first time we did a double entry shot. He shot right in the same hole. Sorry, guys. No, he no, shot no. right in the same hole where he had his gun before. I mean, where where he hit the target before, just to see the different deferring effect, or or the difference in effect. Mm -hmm. And um, right now he's recovering the ball bearing, just so we can inspect some more damage. Oh yeah, look at yeah, that. Yeah, that dent damage that there, dent. even more is way more. Yeah, it actually passed through the metal. There's something yeah, behind that metal. See that. You see the hole there, guys? The mm -hmm. black hole. Yeah, yeah so that was a really good point blank shot. And if we take a step back, my camera might not be able to catch it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is. Sweet. It is catching it. Do you guys see the discoloration around this whole thing? That was from the point blank shot he fired there. Because if we look at here, I fired twice in the same area. And I don't get that effect besides when it cracked it from the point blank shot. So there's the proof of the point blank, blank I, I would say, stain. Um, we, we have it somewhat here, but we got it more here, possibly because he used the, uh, sorry, no. possibly because he used the same, um, in this, the same entrance hole as he, 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 he used before. So you'll see this big impact stain, if you will. This shit like TV. takes up like your finger, uh, your, your, your fingertip pad. Like, yeah, your whole the whole size. Yeah, that, that's a good point. the The whole diameter no, but is just, it, just even putting your finger in the dent. It yeah, takes up like all of this. Oh, so the dent itself. So yeah, the it takes up all of the this. the depth of the dent. Yeah, the depth of the dent can probably. can encase your your fingertip. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah. Um, yeah, easily. And this this hole, this entry hole, is at least uh thumb size. Thumb size uh, entrance hole. <laughs> All right, I'm ready when you are. And those were the rubber shots. And those did serious impact damage there. That one broke through. That one. It broke through the glass. Through. I don't know what it. It looked like a it stain. It yeah. Oh, it didn't get through two parts. But yeah, it, but it broke through. around it. If you can. See on the other side with this camera. So it didn't penetrate the other part of the glass here, but it broke everything on the inside around it, which is interesting. And that was with the plastic ball bear plastic ball bearing, guys. Yeah, that's the plastic one. Cross fire. So bro is gonna hit the one that's directly in front of me that you guys see. I'm gonna hit the one that's directly in front of him. So just to give you guys, I don't I don't know, a different type of angle. I mean, obviously you would expect us to hit what's directly in front of us, but I'm gonna hit first. And obviously hit That's first. Right. So, flying that thing up. Oh. Okay, shit, I knew Thank it. you.
and you can hit the top too. And actually, yeah, hit hit hit. Hold on one second. I'm looking. Yep. And wow, close. Yeah. Unless that was all. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Good. I'm going to finish this one up here. Oh, that was empty. Let me. Right behind. Oh, a little high. Damn, and I'm empty. Thank you. First time I used the beam on this thing. I'm looking for it. It's super bright. Now I can't see it, but oh well. Trace it, trace it from below. Just come, come down from below and just come all the way up from the wood out the ground. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, let me make sure this is actually on. It is on. Oh, I see it. Hopefully they get this shot. Damn, that was an empty shot again. Too high. Man. One shot left, and I'm on low battery. Let's see what we can do. Here it goes. Finish it. No bang. Damn, I'm missing like a motherfucker. No one I was in touch with looking down my sight. That was empty. He was hitting with a left too. So you guys got an idea. I'm on low battery. You guys got an idea of uh a little bit of the ballistics of the steel ball bearings from the uh torpedo revolver fifty cal or and the uh HDR fifty um the fifty cal from Umarex. Um we will have some some different ammo for you guys real soon. Um, but bear with us. Um, we're still going to give you different um, ballistic, te blah, ballistic tests, but on different um, material targets so you can see how effective it is as, as a self-defense or a home defense um, tool. Um, it's not a firearm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, wild boy shit <laughs> it's not a firearm but it's definitely effective like one um if again if you're uh if you have your medical marijuana card or or, or or a felon or cannot have a firearm these do not count as firearms though they are a form of a gun but you cannot be um uh convicted of a firearm crime for having these that said just wanted to check in with y'all love y'all family and um, we'll have some more shit coming for y'all soon. Till next time, you successfully reached in your combat tool bag one more again. Deuces. Give y'all a close range mag dump with this shit.